Hey, hello, welcome to the show. It is me, JP, and it's time for JP's product pick of the week. So thank you so much for tuning in and stopping by today. We've got people over in our chats. We've got some people who are probably in a chat where there's no one and they're wondering where's the chat happening at? You wanna check out our Discord. That is at adafru.it slash Discord. And then you can look for the live broadcast chat channel. That one right there, it's a little cut off. Head on over there and say hi to Johnny Bergdahl and Sam J. Ohio, Thin Man, Scotty B. Me Up. Hello. Thank you for popping into our chat. Uh, and over on our YouTube, we do have a chat there that we're keeping an eye on. Hello to Dave Odessa there, Bre- Beata Graf Abdel Hagen, Medi Dag Doug TV, Go Figure Go, and Johnny Bergdahl is there as well. Thank you. Hi, Tyrone. Thanks for popping in. Hello, Blitz City DIY. Thanks for joining us. So I've got a product pick for you today. What I'll let you know is you can head to that URL right there or that QR code and you will be in the product page and I will be in the product page because this show broadcasts from inside of that page. And you will find that we have a deep, deep discount on this week's product pick. It's 50% off. Huge, huge steal, a great deal. Go get some. What is it? I'm not going to tell you yet, but I know who is. That's going to be Lady Ada. So please take it away, Lady Ada. Next up, we have, okay, this I definitely have to show a demo because it's confusing. This is a double-sided, this is a double-sided LED strip. Um, I thought this was kind of neat because we have LED strips that have like two rows of side angle LEDs, but this one, the LED itself is side uh, double sided. So let me grab the strip. So let's go to the overhead and show it. This is extremely confusing. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until you're you're over there. Yeah, I'm over. Are you over there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So autofocus. So this, you see, it's a side lit neopixel strand, but the LED. It's like, it it has two sets of emitters. So if I remove this, and then I plug it in here, and I will drive it to the board, you'll see it emits out the front, and then you can actually sort of barely see, here, I'll back it up. Um, Maybe I'll wait till it's, sorry, oops, oh. Okay. Okay. So I just stopped the data line. So it's lit from both. Oh, wow, it's so bright. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a spot where it's dimmer. I shouldn't have said the brightness is so bright. Um, it's too bright. Too bright. My eyes. Okay. Basically, it's so bright because the LEDs are are double the brightness. They have emitters on both sides. Um, it also means they're much skinnier than the other double-sided, but this would be really good for edge lighting where you want um, to have a channel cut and then edge lighting from both sides. Um, and it's very slim. It's only like 10 millimeters wide instead of like the other one, which is like 15 millimeters wide. Hey, yes, that's right. That right there. That's the product pick of the week this week. It is the dual-sided emitter... Let me say that again. It is the dual-sided emitter NeoPixel LED strip. 120 LEDs per meter, and it is one meter. So these are not your average NeoPixel strips. As you can see, these have lighting on both sides. So I'm facing an LED toward the camera here, and one is on my face. You can see it here. We've got light coming out this side. We've got light coming out that side. I'm going to Let me power this one off actually for a second and you can take a little closer look at it. So it is a what looks like a single LED, but that LED has an emitter on this side and it has an emitter on that side. These have the three pin JST connectors that we like to use. Is it SH? JST SH, I think. Uh, Connectors on there that you can use to plug into your project. Uh, SM, JST SM uh, connectors actually. And that gives you the ground, the five volt, and the data in, data line on there. Uh, in this case, I happen to be using it with one of our neat little uh, sparkle motion sticks, USB sticks that plug in. 
Uh, but you can use these with any kind of a NeoPixel project. Uh, they are nice and thin. The strip itself is only five millimeters wide with the silicon sheath that it comes in that has adhesive back that is eight millimeters wide. Uh, and like I said, it's a meter long, but you can cut it. Uh, there's little, little marks there where you can cut between them. And actually what I wanna do is show you a nice close up uh, here. Check out these product photos so you can see that right there, right in the middle of the screen, that is, uh, or of that photo, is one of the emitters with essentially a light pointing up at that five volt silk screen and another light pointing down at that ground silk screen. That counts as one LED. As far as NeoPixel is concerned, it's gonna light that one LED. Uh, you can't address them separately, it's a single LED, but it emits from both sides, which is pretty excellent. It means we're not dealing with 240 LEDs, but they're not separate uh, elements here as far as uh, addressing them, if that makes sense. Uh, what else? These are SK6805 RGB LEDs. And uh, let's take a look at the product page for these as well as some more detailed info. And I'll show you how I'm lighting these up. Uh, so if you take a look, there's the product page. And this is quite a deal. Uh, for $14.75, you're getting a meter of LED strip that is excellent for architectural lighting, for side lighting on projects. Uh, it's probably pretty good for vehicle lighting. You can use it for costume lighting, for props, uh, really uh, a versatile strip. And one of the nice things about these side light ones is that you can bend it along this axis and still be shooting light outward. So it's good for things where you're making curves that you wanna see. That's not the usual way with a, with a typical NeoPixel strip, pixel strip where they're uh, pointed up. You can't really bend them sideways. They're, they're meant to be bent in this axis, uh, which makes these really nice because you can see those LEDs glowing from the sides and still light something that's behind them. Uh, if you scroll down in here, we've got uh, a link to a project that uses them as well as a data sheet. So if you check out the data sheet here, here's a little more info about it, uh, size of it, cutting length, uh, the weight of it, number of LEDs, uh, specifications. You can see it, all that info is right there. And then there's a project here, which is the Zelda Echoes of Wisdom Tri-Rod, uh, which uses these. So if you wanna see uh, assembling these, cutting them, setting them up, putting some new uh, wiring on them, all that info is there. And uh, in that case, it's using, I think, a, a prop maker feather uh, to light that up. But anything that lights up LEDs, anything that lights up NeoPixel LEDs will work well for it. Uh, and if you take a look, let me go back to, let's go back to this view here. Uh, so I've got a second camera that I can control the uh, exposure on better back there. And you can see my strip here, I've just put a little uh, piece of aluminum in front of it. And if I move my, uh, my back drop here, you'll be able to see the LED lighting coming out both sides of that, but you're not staring at bright LEDs, which is kind of nice uh, in some circumstances. This gives you a little idea of what that side lighting is useful for. Uh, and this is actually set at a fairly dim uh, brightness level right now. Let me uh, set that there. Let me move Lars over for a second. And let's put Lars's LEDs back here as well. Uh, so you can see here, in the case of Lars, we're looking right at a set of LEDs and we're backlighting behind good old Lars there. Uh, yeah, you can see that pretty well. You can see it behind me, but it blows out really quickly. And uh, what I'll do is head over to the WLED. So since I'm using this on a Sparkle Motion, it's very easy to set it up with WLED. And I've just got two separate devices that I'm connected to over Wi-Fi. Uh, so if we turn off, uh, let's turn on the LARS and I'll turn off that stick one there. So you can see here, I, I can drop that brightness down. You can see the individual pixels a little better. I'll bring that up. And then we can go and uh, select some different effects that I, that I set in advance. This is a nice one here. You can see that glowing 
in front of and behind. This is these matrix style, uh, meant to be just a, a, a waterfall uh, vertical, but looks kind of nice on top of Lars there. Uh, this one is a sound active, sound reactive one, so you can see it's going to be blue while I'm quiet. And then when I start making noise, it goes to that purple or magenta. Uh, here's a nice little scanner around Lars that you can see there. Uh, so really cool effect because you get that front and rear lighting. You can also still diffuse this. So uh, if you look here when it passes over his head, you can have diffusion in the front and some nice reflected light in the back if you want. It looks good. Or you can use other types of diffusers. I've got some uh, frosted tube diffusion there. I'll just set it in front of it so you get an idea. So there's a, a pretty pretty nice density there as soon as you start diffusing that when it gets to that tube it's very uh, very solid color and then the reflection in the back is is uh, the same if we switch over to this other light for a moment uh, I'll leave Lars on so this one you can get an idea of the size of this this is the the one meter strip here uh, and I'll show that on on this uh, other camera and so now if I put, let's say, just my arms there next to it, let me brighten this one up a lot. I'll go to full brightness. There we go. Uh, so you can see that's really cool for certain types of prop effects because we get a, a real nice glow off of both sides and we're not staring at the LEDs. Uh, if we do go to this side view, uh, you can see here with go to that uh, with the aluminum strips that I have on here these are like a 16th inch thick strip you can still bend them pretty nicely and you get uh, pretty cool maybe uh, prop effects edged weapons things like that uh, out of that I can just flex that back so that's a uh, little bent strip there try to flex that back and set it over here its thing. Uh, let's see what else we have. Yeah, so that's just a, a quick demo of that running in WLED. Uh, go back to the product photo there and let's see what uh, questions we have. Uh, Nick Night Cry D. Paul says in YouTube, I ended up pulling mine out of the, the rubber channel, that silicon sleeve, uh, printed a bar with a diffuser for the magnets on the back so I can stick it on the mailbox and flash police lights. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Fourth of July things? Oh, yeah. Uh, in fact, if you look at, I do have one that's, that's called a, a 2D firework effect, or sorry, a 1D firework effect over on... Uh, this one here. Let me set that so you see the pshoom, pop, 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 pshoom, whew, pop, boom, pop, 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 pop. This is a neat little fireworks effect there. And let's see what else. Uh, McQueenman16 says perfect timing. I've been needing to buy RGB strips. Uh, just bought one during the stream. Excellent. Lars's strip makes me think of the right kind of diffuser in the front. You could produce a nice neon-like light effect. Yeah, these are, uh, the side light is great for that neon tube effect. So if you do uh, have the right uh, diffusion, uh, you're talking about something flexible, but you can do uh, a nice neon tube effect uh, if you get diffusion in front of there for sure. Uh, let's see, any other questions or thoughts? Uh, Oh, Night Cry D. Paul says they stripped down old monitor panels for some diffuser material. Yeah, if you have an old monitor that's, that's beyond repair, there's uh, usually a nice diffusion uh, in front of the LED strip at the edge or uh, panel in the back to diffuse all that lighting behind the LCD. Very cool. Uh, let's see, what else? Any other questions or thoughts? No? All right, so yeah, go check these out. This is the URL you want to go to. Uh, that's product 5985 and a uh, great deal, I think, to be able to go and, and pick these up for $14.75, a maximum of 10 per customer. We have 74 less left in stock. And uh, as is always the case on the product pick show, there's no coupon code needed, but 
the price is the price during the show and then it goes back up after the show. So if you want to get these, uh, throw a couple in your cart, maybe pick up some extra uh, of these nice little connectors, these little three pin JST SM connectors so you can hook them into your projects and still uh, separate those out. And uh, let's see, maybe I can throw these on as a, a handsome little scarf there. Let me, uh, let me change the effect on that. Oops, now I've done it. Uh, let's go to Noisemaker. Yeah, that'll, that'll do, or how about Scan? Scan, no, Flow Strip? Flow Strip, there we go, That's, that'll look nice. Uh, yeah, all right. That is gonna do it then. That right there is my product pick of the week this week. It is the dual-sided emitter NeoPixel 120 LED per meter, one meter strip. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park. This has been JP's Product Pick of the Week, and I will see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.